But my son was a fighter, you know, and he fought all the way to the end. You know, and I just wish it never happened. Heartbreak and confusion settling in for an area father tonight as he lives through his worst nightmare, any parent's worst nightmare. He'll never see his son alive again after he fell from an Orlando amusement park ride. I'm Samantha Jones. Corey has the night off. This teen's death making national headlines tonight. Tyree Sampson died after falling off of a free fall ride in Orlando at Icon Park. Tonight, his loved ones want to know how this happened. And new tonight, Gabriel Vidal is in studio with us after sitting down with Sampson's dad. And Gabby, he says that he found out about his son's death on social media. Yeah, the worst way any parent can find out about their son's death. Now, 14-year-old Tyree Sampson was an eighth grade student at a a charter school called Career Academy. His dad, who lives in the Metro East, tells me Tyree lived with his mother in Berkeley, Missouri. He says they raised an incredible son with big dreams and an even bigger heart. Where do I go from here? Ain't no sleeping. Ain't no eating. A father devastated after losing his teenage son. He's a big teddy bear, gentle dying. He was, he was a good, good young man. Yarno Sampson says 14 year old Tyree Sampson was respectful, a good student and passionate about going pro in football. He was 6'5", 325 at 14 years old, you know, playing left tackle. So that, that's a prime position, you know, plus he had very, he got NFL mentors. So he was definitely on the right path. And I was going to put him in a blue chip camp myself this summer. He the next big ticket. He was the next big thing out the loop. Yarnell says Tyree was in Florida training with his teammates and coaches through the STL Bad Boys football program, but also taking time off to have some fun. I was one of the last people to find out. I found out early this morning. The father didn't learn Tyree fell off an amusement park ride at Icon Plaza in Orlando until after watching a viral video taken of the fall. Okay, watch. Yarnell not only heartbroken, but also upset he wasn't there to protect his son. And somebody have a few answers they need to answer, you know, because I definitely got some questions. What are those questions? You know, why, why was he not properly put in the, to see the, the seating thing right? Maybe he was too big to get on that ride, you know, or maybe they weren't doing their job. It's those questions racing through his mind as investigators start looking into the theme park ride Tyree got on, not knowing it would be the last thing he would do. They could have stopped the, the, the roller coaster at the top. They could have had somebody, a, 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 a EMT paramedics. The fire department came up there, could have rescued anything. They didn't have to let the young man fall. But for now, Yarnell says his focus is keeping his son's memory alive, ensuring his death will prevent any similar tragedies moving forward. Oh, that knows my son is in Orlando, Florida right now. And I want him home. And we're going to figure that out, me and my son and mother, and we're going to go from there. Yarnell says Tyree planned to attend either East St. Louis High School or Cardinal Riddle ne next fall. Now, right now, his father says he doesn't know when he and his other members of his family will be reunited with Tyree back here in the Metro. Your heart just goes out to that family and unimaginable loss. Yeah, and so much potential mm -hmm. with this passion for football and also giving back to his family. Yeah, well, we just hope the best for them. All right, Gabby, thank you. Back